Hi, I'm Steve Hayward from the Baseball Health Network, and I'm here to talk to you about one of the reasons that I believe we have such an increase in arm injuries. Players from nine years old up into the major leagues are sustaining arm injuries. And let me just start by saying, not all arm injuries are serious. Not all arm injuries are season-ending or career-threatening, but they are causing the player pain and discomfort, and it's something that we need to take very seriously. I believe that if we teach these kids to throw the ball properly from the youngest ages, from five years old, six years old, when they first start playing baseball, we need to teach our players and our kids that our arm does not throw the ball. There's more involved, more body parts involved in the throw or in the pitch. So if we can teach kids to play catch the right way on a consistent basis from the time that they start throwing a baseball, we're going to create that consistency and that strength that's needed to stay healthy and on the field. Playing catch is one of the most underdeveloped and undercoached skills in baseball. You know, and, and it's, it's, as coaches, it's our responsibility to make sure that we are teaching our kids to throw the ball properly. You know, not just telling them, go down the line and get your arms loose, and then let them throw the ball however they throw it. Because then they come in a game and they make a bad throw, and as coaches, we can't understand, well, how can you make a throw like that? Well, that's how he plays catch every day. You know, and, and those are the kids that end up having more arm issues because they're throwing it consistently, they're putting more stress, doubling the stress at times on their arm every time they make a throw. So when we play catch, we're playing catch with a purpose. We're working on lining our body up to our target, utilizing our lower body, the rotational forces of our hips, the separation from our hips and our shoulders, the trunk rotation, the trunk extension, staying through the ball, and making sure that every time we throw a baseball, it has a purpose to it. Every throw matters. So if our arm feels good, we can throw the ball a little bit harder. We might be able to increase the distance. If our arm doesn't feel as good, then we stay at a short distance and we maintain that same smooth, fluid throwing motion, and you'll see that most of the time your arm will feel better, and then we can start to increase it. If it doesn't, you stay at the short distance, you throw at low intensity, and that's what gets your arm stronger and it keeps your arm healthy. And for pitchers, playing catch properly directly translates to what happens when you step on the mound. You know, you're not gonna certainly create the same motion that you would play and catch as you would pitching, but a lot of the factors are the same. The alignment, the direction, the momentum, the rotational forces, getting the good rotation off the ball, learning how to really not only control the ball, but better off commanding your throws, hitting your partner in the shoulder, in the chest, in the head, in the shoulder, and really working on utilizing your body to maximize your, not only your velocity, but to maximize the, the, the level of consistency in your control. The bottom line is this, in order to stay healthy and keep our arm healthy, we need to throw. This healing power in throwing. So throwing a baseball is good. It's a good thing and it should be done as frequently as possible. But we can play catch more than we can pitch. So we wanna use those playing catch days as a guide to what's gonna happen when we step on a pitcher's mouth. We wanna make sure that our body's working as efficiently as possible, minimizing the stress and maximizing our velocity.